Welcome, welcome back again. Thank you for coming back. This is the Lance Well Now Show with our trusty uh, co-host here, uh, Mercedes Sparks. And uh, Mercedes, today we're going to be talking about something from, I should really be saying, from coast to coast. I like the opening because, you know, they have the applause and the music, and it's, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it inspires me to hear, to know that you're out there, that I'm not alone, that even though I may feel alone, I'm not alone. Lately, I have been festooned in the media. The Philadelphia Inquirer, Bucks County Courier Times, well, that's local, but that's where I grew up in Pennsylvania. It's kind of weird, the, the newspapers where you grew up as a little kid, vilifying you as a Nazi uh, whatever they think I, they, they think I am. Uh, but then when Rolling Stone and NBC start to cover you, you realize that you're now in the cul-de-sac of this odd little group of um, political, um, I, I don't know what they are. They're, they're, they're kind of like, they're like the QAnon of the, of the progressive media woke Marxist left mm -hmm. in that once you get in that loop, they start like, like piranhas. And um, my name's popping up in all these different places. So I figure I've always wanted to be on the Rolling Stones. So now that I'm there, I thought I'd cover just one article with you, Mercedes. You haven't even read it. You're reading it right now. I am reading it My right staff, now, and I'm laughing see, as I do read you it. Think, do you think they care about the assault? The, the, you realize how my life becomes complicated when I get misrepresented in the media by Leviathan, that spirit that we're always up against. Mm -hmm. Lance has a seven-point plan. Let's just talk about this. For a Christian takeover and wants Doug Mastriano to lead the charge. So I go up to Pennsylvania, and, uh, and I go up and do 10 minutes on a campaign trail with a couple hundred people there, uh, because a friend of mine asked me to be, go there, and I lived in Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, in Rhode Island for like, you know, half my life. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so I wanted to go up and, uh, and support Doug Mastriano. By the way, he's a great Christian, 22-year colonel, um, in, in the military, he's the only guy that stood up against election fraud and invited Rudy Giuliani to come and make his case when nobody else had the, 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 the strength to, to stand up against, uh, you know, the election fraud Mastriano did. I respect that. So I went up there and did 10 minutes and became famous instantly because I got on the radar of the left who is salivating for some kind of story on Christian nationalism. They can never find it. It's like finding racism in America and trying to get a MAGA hat and put it on it. They can't find it, so they create their own stories and make them up. So they're looking for the Nazi uh, evangelicals, which is kind of a hard, hard case to, to build here because there's not, I don't know of any Nazi evangelicals. <laughs> but anyway, they're trying to put me in that category and misrepresent me. So I end up, first it starts with 3.4 uh, views on a, on a Twitter post that says that Doug Mastriano has an evangelical up there, white supremacist doing a Nazi salute. And what I did, which I've been doing for 10 years, is we have a scene from Gladiator where uh, you see Maximus is in the middle of the arena and the, and the chariots are coming at him and he tells everyone to hold, 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 and hold their shields as one. And then they shout as one and they repulse the chariots. I said, unity is like that. Sometimes when you're a remnant under attack, like conservatives and Christians, you have to lock your shields. You have to lock your shields in unity, and you hold, and I tell them, put your hand up on the count of three, as one, as one, stand together. Well, they took that as a Nazi salute. Now, they had to lie about it to do that. Yeah. And then they had to have 3.5 million views that helped to reinforce a lie about that. And that's the part. Now, why, why are you give me that look? Because you didn't make the joke. Normally, you make that joke. Lance has been doing this for nearly 15 years. Every time he does this interactive thing, because it's really like a Tony Robbins type of, you get the audience up, you get them engaged, is why you do this. And every time we do it, you make the joke, listen, like this. Well, I don't always like say this. that. I say, I, say, like I, say, I, say, I say it's like this, it's not like this. You exactly. Know, this, and, it's, this, and, and you make the joke that it's not a Nazi salute. And so I even said it to the BBC reporter guy who interviewed you. I said, he didn't make the joke. I, it, I can tell you. They're going to take this out of context. And he goes, no, there was so much context for what he just did. They would never you know, do that. You know, I told that. the whole story about Gettysburg, the Battle of Gettysburg moving in unity as one. And the BBC even said they can't possibly do that. But never underestimate the demonic left journalist. Anyway, 
Well, now, as uh, Jesus was promised nations for his inheritance, says Lance Wall now, a self-described Christian nationalist prophet. First of all, I never, I never, I'm not using the term Christian nationalist, though I'm not backing up from it. And, uh, and I did one, I think I did one uh, rant in my library where I was talking about Christian nationalism when the subject came up in 2021 and said, we better talk about what this term actually means. Because Christian means a follower of Jesus, a nationalist is someone who's a patriot trying to preserve the fundamental founding of their nation as God written, as God influenced the original founding of it. Yeah. So anyway, but they're taking that so out of context. And I never call myself a prophet. I am a prophet, but in the sense that I said that there are secular prophets like Saul's Nietzsche and Rush Limbaugh, if you studied him, was prescient and precise in his predictions of where the media was going to go, what the news cycle was really all about. Bannon is remarkably uh, prophetic. I find, I find secular prophets being people that have a mastery of a subject such that their intuition regarding the unfolding course of events is almost prophetic in quality. And I begin to think that perhaps it is prophetic, meaning they can see things before they happen. So, uh, but anyway, I'm not a self-described Christian nationalist prophet. That's the way Tim Dickinson wants to put it. Now, who the heck is Tim Dickinson? You know, there are, I'm, I'm checking this thing out now. Why is it that they can come after citizens like me? I'm a business guy. I got a company here with a media company, right? Mm -hmm. And I happen to have a ministry also, mm -hmm. which is right now we're furnishing the impoverished families of Texas, single mothers and children. This and that's and that's what that work, you know, all week long goes to. Five warehouses taking care of the poor and the families and the children. But you know, this guy here makes me sound like I'm just kind of a money grubbing hypocritical, blowhard, and, and I'm wondering, can anybody just, can, can you actually do a forensic on these guys? Rush Limbaugh used to say it. Why does anybody go after the journalists and do an expose on them? Well, I always wonder, Who the too. heck is Tim Dickinson? <laughs> How much money are you giving to the poor and take and philanthropic? I want to see what your sacrifice is. I'll tell you what, these guys are selfish and, 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 and self-absorbing narcissistic. Well, so much of this is just inaccurate, too. Like, I started reading and I said, wait, wait, is it an op-ed? isn't an op-ed and it's not an op-ed. It's supposed to be real journalism, but it's not because did he call and try to verify any of this? Absolutely not. So well, anyway, let's go. Well, here's the thing. Jesus was promised nature's inheritance, says Lance. Well, actually, Psalm 2 says it. I, I'm quoting Psalm 2 when I say that. If you were biblically literate, you'd know that. But Tim Dickinson, who's no relationship to Bruce Dickinson, I was trying to figure out, where have I heard this name before? Bruce Dickinson, he's the guy that uh, that uh, that was in the More Cowbell episode with, uh, with Saturday Night Live. Skit, yeah. And who was the guy? Oh, Christopher Walken. Was it Christopher Walken? Mm -hmm. No, no. Was it Christopher Walken? Yeah. Was he, was he, was he Bruce Dickinson? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Christopher, he wants more cowbell. Yeah, more cowbell. <laughs> That's it. He was the more cowbell guy. Anyway, I don't know if they're related. Let's go to page two. I got to get, I don't want to, I don't want to make this all about me, but I do want to discuss the Rolling Stones article. Here we go. Christian nationalists and Doug Mastriano, the GLP candidate who cast his bid for governor of Pennsylvania as a mission from God are birds of a feather. I guess Lance well now. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Lance Wall, the self-styled prophet, is one of the most strident Christian nationalists. No, I'm not. But I'll make a defense for Christian nationalism, but I'm not a strident Christian nationalist because I hardly ever use the term. Mm. They're trying to make that the term. By the way, I found out, do you know why they're, why they're big on Christian nationalists? They were trying to make it white nationalists and then white Christian nationalists. That was what was going around, if you remember, in the 2019, 2020. They were working on that one. Mm -hmm. But then they found so many... Black, uh, like Dave Harris's Diamond and Silk. They had, and then they got Sammy Rodriguez and uh, and, mm -hmm. and Ramiro Pena. You got Mario Brand. You got so many Latinos and so many African Americans on Trump's bandwagon. They had to drop the white and just go with Christian nationalists. Just want you to know the uh, the the epistemology of these words, where they come from. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Mercedes, we're out of time. I can't believe it. Time sure flies when you're having fun. And we're having some fun. By the way, I need your help because you heard me talk about furnishing families and the work that we're doing. I haven't even got to the hit job they do on me financially where they say I'm a huckster and a charlatan and basically try to destroy me uh, with, with slander. But I know you guys are going to stand with us. And I want to make this an opportunity to increase our war chest for good works here in Dallas and in the work that we're doing, pushing back on the woke mob. So go to lancewalnut.com forward slash partner. Now more than ever, 
Help us help the poor, help the single mothers. As we're being attacked by the Rolling Stone, I need you to help us put some stones in David's sling. We're going to take this Goliath down. Go to lancewellnut.com forward slash partner, and let's push back on the devil. We appreciate every one of you that stands with us. God bless you. Hey there, you just listened to an excerpt that's a little bit of the podcast. So if you want to get the whole thing, because there's a lot more content there, go to lancewellnut.com forward slash podcast. And instead of getting an excerpt, you get the entire message.